Good morning from Giza. I have just woken up to this incredible view of the pyramids. It's just one minute away from the entrance. I will be heading first to Cairo to check the famous Egyptian museum. Of course, it's one of the best I've ever visited. Then we will be on a 14 hours night train from Cairo to Aswan. Things started wrong as we got a bit lost and had to be escorted by the police. Another platform number 11, the train is platform number 11. 11. Okay. It's okay? It's okay. But once we got to our cabin, the journey went nice and smooth. It seems that we have rice, some boiled vegetables. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> Come with us on a trip like no other in Egypt. Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today is the first episode from this uh, Egypt series because in the next 10 days we will be exploring this amazing country. We just woke up in Giza and behind me you can see the view of the pyramids which is absolutely astonishing. That's why we really wanted to sleep here in Giza and not in Cairo. Today our plan is to head to Cairo because from there we will take the night train to Aswan so stay tuned for this because I want to show you the whole process but maybe we will also get the chance to visit uh, the Egyptian Museum in Cairo which uh, should be fascinating right now let's enjoy this view and uh, the breakfast here on the rooftop this is Alex my Hello. partner in crime <laughs> you will see him everywhere on my Welcome channel to our feast. and uh, this is the breakfast uh, I'm not sure if it uh, looks uh, too appealing but uh, at least the bread does and look at the view because this is the most important part it doesn't matter what we eat because uh, wow so uh, we are staying at a hotel here for around 45 euros per night and uh, of course it's greatest point it's uh, <laughs> that <laughs> it has this view but um, the room is better than we were expecting it to be and uh, also i forgot to mention that it's just one minute away from the entrance basically we get out of the hotel and then there will be the entrance to the pyramids from right to left we have the Great Pyramid of Giza built for Pharaoh Khufu, then there is the Pyramid of Khafre, Khufu's son, and the third one is Pyramid of Menkeur, and the Great Sphinx of Giza is located in front of Pyramid of Khafre. If you like us, are a big fan of the pyramids and want to enjoy them uh, for more than two hours on a tour, I strongly recommend you come and stay for at least one night here and uh, enjoy the sunset, uh, enjoy a coffee on a rooftop terrace here because if you will come with a tour from Hurghada, you will stay for a long time on the road and you'll only have here a few hours uh, so that's just not enough. I will leave you our link to our hotel in the description below, but uh, just search on booking and you will see that there are plenty of accommodation options here. And by the way, if you appreciate my content and you want to see more of Egypt, more travel tips on how to travel more for less, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. After 30 minutes in the crazy traffic of Cairo, we just arrived at the museum and here are the tickets. One costs 200 Egyptian pounds, so that's around $6, which I think is a great value. And uh, here is the entrance, which looks pretty amazing. And uh, I'm a big fan of the Egyptian culture. I've been to Egyptian museums all over the world but I'm super excited to visit this one. By the way, if you decide to stay in Giza and then visit Cairo from there, uh, I want to let you know that the taxis are super cheap here. There are two apps that you can use. One is Uber, the other one is InDrive, and the taxi for 30 minutes drive costs not more than $3. How great is that?
the Egyptian Museum of Cairo houses the largest collection of ancient Egyptian artifacts in the world with over 120,000 items on display. This collection covers thousands of years of Egyptian history from the prehistoric era to the Greco-Roman period. The museum's exhibits include a wide range of items such as mummies, statues, papyri, coins, tools and household items. This diversity offers a comprehensive view of daily life, religious practices and royal customs in ancient Egypt. One of the most famous exhibits is the treasure of King Tutankhamun, including his iconic golden mask, jewelry, chariots and the young pharaoh sarcophagus. Most of it cannot be filmed, so you have to come see it for yourself. We just finished visiting the museum. I think it took us more than three hours. I recommend you to take the time to really visit and understand more of it. Also, if you want, you can take a guided tour. We didn't, but uh, uh, that's why we spent a lot of time researching and reading everything. So keep that in mind. The museum is super impressive with a large collection of artifacts. You can also find a lot of uh, objects uh, from uh, Tutankhamun, but uh, we couldn't film that. What always impresses us about uh, the ancient Egypt is uh, how much effort they put into the afterlife. We don't know much about how they lived. We know how they prepared for their death. And uh, it's really impressive to uh, learn and uh, understand more of their rituals. So uh, I strongly recommend you visit this museum for a better understanding. And uh, of course, it's one of the best I've ever visited. Before going on a 14 hour trip with the train, we decided it's time to eat. So we chose this incredible restaurant for lunch. It's authentic, affordable and delicious. Now it's time to head to the train station. We got again an Uber for which we paid less than $2 and it left us a few meters from the entrance. As you can see, Cairo is a bit hectic, but we love it. This is Ramses station, the largest station in Egypt and it looks better than I have imagined. But as it's too large, we got a bit lost and an officer offered to take us to our platform. This is now the train, platform number 8, eight. platform number 10. Another platform number 11, the train is platform number 11. 11. Okay. It's okay? It's okay. Now the man jump ahead. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, and your wife go here. Okay. <laughs> this is jump here is one minute. <laughs> and now it says five minutes. Okay. It's okay? Jump. Faster. Come here. We are at the train station waiting for our train to come. Um, in 20 minutes it should be here. We are really excited, but it was an adventure here. We got escorted by some policeman or something, but he's pretty funny and he's still here. And uh, there, are, there are actually plenty of tourists around. I mean, this then there's an older couple, I think, or... Oh, another tourist. And our guy keeps asking them questions. <laughs> Until now seems to be funny. Arba? Yes. <laughs> uh, no, it's just this. Okay. Uh, so, uh, Number Yasmin and Zanati. Number screen. Uh, 86. 86. Okay. Same okay. Shukran. Shukran. We just got inside the cabin and I just realized that uh, I might suffer of close claustrophobia or something because it's so small that I feel like I'm suffocating yeah but still I knew you have it music be, if you want I knew it would be small but oh my god look it's good that we have a window because it seems a bit bigger but wow I can't even show you yeah but we have here so if you want to wash so look. uh this it's from here to here, the whole space, and I, I can barely fit. You can see that Alex 
is there. So what what bed will you have, Alex? I will stay. Can I stay up? Yeah, of course. I heard I, that this is more stable. I like to stay here, like uh, chill. <laughs> And look, we have space for our luggage. Maybe okay. I will sleep there. <sighs> oh my god. Oh, okay. Well, I forgot to show you the sink. Look. Yeah, we have a sink. We have a sink and here. If you want, you can have a shower. Just kidding. Yeah, you might. I don't know if the water is working. Let's check. Ooh, it's working. Oh, okay, stop. It's going to stop I automatically. Okay, okay. It's uh, by sensor. Just close the door, it's going to stop. Okay. Now open. And we can also put our clothes here. <laughs> yeah. But we have have a mirror. Go. Uh, Alex, put, take your luggage off. Ta -da. Super funny. <laughs> of course, these uh, chairs will convert into a bed. Very comfy. Mine is already almost made, but. Uh, at some point, uh, the um, the gentleman working here will uh, start uh, helping us, and we will probably even have some dinner. Ooh, Ooh dinner in the tree. Yes, so, so romantic. romantic. I wish we had something to clean the windows with, but. just received uh, the dinner and Alex already opened up his uh, dishes and uh, it seems that we have rice, some boiled vegetables, I think it's beef which I don't eat. I hope I have something different but See, I, it's I a suppose cookie. Not. we have uh, yeah, something sweet, bread, bread, another salad, it looks good. Yeah. I could eat the rice and the vegetables. Mm -hmm. I'm pretty happy. I'm full. Yes. I'm pretty happy. <laughs> I'm satisfied. Tell us the price, please. <laughs> By the way, I forgot to tell you how much it cost us uh, this train. Uh, the thing is, yeah, we have included the dinner and I think also the breakfast. I'm not sure, but uh, almost certain we will. Um, the thing is, it's still pricey because it was $80 per person. Eight zero, eighty. Uh, oh my god. I, I heard that for Egyptians or for Arab speaking countries, uh, you can get a ticket for $40, so half the price, which is, mm, I think it's the same as in yeah. Romania, as in our country, but $80 is more than in our country. It's a bit too much. I'm curious, what do you think about this price? I mean, considering that uh, we have also the food included and it's a cabin for two persons, that it's private with no bathroom, but yet, how much would you pay for this? I mean, is $80 a fair price or not? I think we're supposed to stop at 14 stations, not sure, but uh, also we are supposed to make 14 hours on the road, but considering how slow the train is going, I'm not sure of that. Mm. And, and we already uh, have a, a delay. We left the station, I think, with a 10 minutes delay. It's so, a good start. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we will let you know. The beds are ready. We have the pillows here. This is my bed. This is Alex's bed. It's pretty bumpy so far, but. I think uh, we are tired enough so we can sleep. <laughs> it's not even 9 p.m. and we are already in the bed. It's pretty cozy, it's not too warm or too cold. It's a little bumpy but we hope this will make us fall asleep easier. Right now we are going to sleep and I'll let you know in the morning how it went. Good night! <laughs> Good morning! Good morning! <laughs> Um, it's uh, 7 a.m. or 8, I think, and uh, it seems that uh, we are past Luxor, so we are on time. 
uh, we actually slept quite well. Yeah, I think yeah. For seven, eight hours, even though it was bumpy, it was noisy because you could hear a lot of crackles here in the cabin and outside. But uh, I yeah, slept. Yeah, it was a good sleep. Good yeah. Sleep. And now we just uh, got the breakfast. Uh, let me show you some bread. Another type of bread or cookie. No, it's, it's a cookie. sweet. Yeah, it's sweet, sweet, but but a lot of uh, carbohydrates. And plastic. <laughs> yeah, and the uh, croissant, some jam, um, and uh, cream cheese, and I don't know. Mm. Yeah. And some coffee with leftovers from last night. <laughs> <laughs> we are at the countryside. Yes, it looks pretty nice. And I'm sure it's super hot outside, even though here is quite chilly. But uh, outside is supposed to be around uh, 30, 35, even 40 degrees at some hours here in the south. <laughs> We have officially arrived in Aswan. Uh, honestly, the train ride was way, way better than what I've imagined, and uh, because I've heard so many uh, bad rumors about it, we slept, we ate, we are really refreshed right now, and we are ready to experience all that Aswan has to offer. Don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more of Egypt and if you want to follow our journey here.